So in this video, I want to talk about anti-seizure medications. Before we start, I want to give you a brief introduction on seizures and also epilepsy. And we also want to talk about the new seizure classifications. So what is a seizure? A seizure is just an abnormal electrical activity in your brain. And it's not enough that the neurons just fire excessively. They also need to be hypersynchronized. Now you can imagine that a patient that experiences a seizure can have very different symptoms and it all depends on where is the seizure. So for example, if the seizure is in the frontal lobe where movements are controlled, you can imagine that the patient might have some sort of motor problems or motor symptoms. Now if the seizure happens somewhere else in the brain, the patient might have very different symptoms. So it all depends on the location. Now, Having a seizure can have a lot of different reasons. And if somebody presents with a seizure or had a seizure, you need to do a very thorough examination to figure out what the reason is. There could be a brain tumor, there could be meningitis, there could be electrolyte imbalances, things like hyponatremia or hypoglycemia. If you're not going to find a specific reason, well, then the patient might have epilepsy in case the seizure would come again. So epilepsy is defined as a chronic disorder with recurring seizures without an obvious reason. So next discuss how we classify seizures. So first of all, we put them into two big buckets, focal onset and generalized onset. So focal onset means that we kind of stay locally. It's almost in the word. It's a local onset. So that means we are restricted to one hemisphere. So you can see this little dot here. So it's still restricted to one hemisphere. So for example, a patient that has a seizure in the left part of the front lobe will probably show some motor symptoms in the right, on the right side. So this would be restricted to the left frontal lobe, therefore this would be a focal onset seizure. Now next we distinguish within this focal onset seizure if the patient has normal consciousness or impaired consciousness. We call it focal onset seizure with normal awareness or with impaired awareness. That means, let, for example, if a patient has this seizure in the left part of the frontal lobe but can report to you what he or she is experiencing, then obviously the consciousness is not impaired and we would fall into this category. In contrast, if the patient cannot report and there's impaired consciousness, so if you talk to the patient, the um, patient is not going to respond, then this would fall into the category focal onset seizure with impaired awareness. And what is very characteristic for impaired awareness seizures is that the patient has some sort of involuntary repetitive movements and that's called automatism. Some sort of movements like picking on clothes or lip smacking which are repetitive and are characteristic for an impaired awareness. So next I want to talk about generalized onset seizures. And these involve both hemisphere. So you're not going to be just seeing one part of the body affected. The most famous generalized onset seizure is a tonic-clonic seizure. And this is also sometimes referred as grand mal seizure. So grand is French for big and mal, malaise means in French disease. So it's big disease. So how does a tonic-clonic seizure present? So normally the patient loses consciousness and falls to the ground and the whole body stiffens. And that's a tonic phase. Thereafter comes a clonic phase. And these are alterations between muscle contractions and relaxations. So this is this jerking movements. So tonic-clonic. Now, generalized onset seizure can also fall into a separate category if they don't fall the, follow this pattern tonic-clonic. We put them into the category other motor um, generalized onset uh, seizure. And this could include, for example, seizure types that have only a tonic phase, so only the whole body stiffens, that's a seizure, or only a clonic phase. Or some patients also might experience an atonic seizure, which means that you lose all muscle tone and just fall to the ground. This is, uh, would fall into the category other motor. 
And then there is a very special type of generalized onset seizure. This is absence seizure. And that's also sometimes referred as petit mal seizure. So petit for small malaise disease, so small disease. And this is predominantly found in kids. And what um, kids experience when they have this absence seizure is that they just lose consciousness for a couple of seconds. So, um, for example, in school, their pen would fall down. They're just staring blankly for a couple of seconds, and then they're back to normal. And this happens very often during the day. So you can imagine that these kids always pick up kind of on the last couple of seconds what was said. And then they're immediately back to normal. So that's absence seizures. I just want to mention that a seizure can also start as a focal onset seizure, so restricted to one hemisphere, and then spread out and become a generalized onset seizure. This is certainly also possible.